Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. At the very end of the last episode, we arrived at a ray site, the first place we've flown to in the Buffalo, now that we fixed it up. So let's look around and see what we can do here. Rusted Agnate. The Agnate shell corrodes in the elements. Is it shooting up a projection into the air? Few sections of the fortified walls still stand tall. Looks in really good condition. I'm just thinking of how much I'd love another Fallout game. Like another Fallout 1 and 2 style game that looked like this. There's a twisted agnate frame in the wild grass. Hanged agnate. Looks like this agnate has been strung up in a symbolic execution. What the hell happened here? This spire-like structure looks ancient. That's a bad noise somewhere in the distance. I hope far in the distance. Penrose Allied. I love that logo. I love the fact that the screen's broken a little bit. So cool. Red Mercury, Tether, and Terra Slingshot not found. Array components are missing. Load parts into the receiving tray. Enable array at control pylon. I think I can connect to it. Getting some strange signals from this thing. There it is, ancient agnate base. I wish I wish clicking the codex opened up the last updated entry. So I don't have to go searching for it. Crucified. The agnate is strung up on a cross-shaped metal frame. Oh, this is where we put parts into it. I don't suppose the simulacrum is one of those? Or the gold-plated hood ornament? Agonite components are strewn through the bushes. really die, can they? So why execute them? Vivid low... <laughs> Vivid low veld blossoms have pushed their way through cracks in the concrete. Above the metal wreckage flickers a hazy hologram of what the Agnate used to be. This looks ancient. Every, sur every surface of the copter is crusted with red corrosion. Thick 
concrete slabs are crooked and cracked. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do here right now. I think I just need to come back here when I have some parts. So, Agnate Outpost, we can't go there. Warden, we can't go there. I guess it's Witherburg. Or just exploring for a new place. That's not on the map. chickens. Somebody to talk to, finally. Yo, Bridgerin, Wagwan is a nice machine. Buffalo troop transport, eh? With all four engines working. I do. Yeah, yeah, buffalo transport. I can see you replace the old busting diesel engines. Smart. Can you tell me where I am? You're in Weatherberg, friend. Furthest place away from anywhere you could find. So how you find your way to this little slice of heaven? With a buffalo, you must see I come from the warden. Trust me, if I could get the hell out of here, I would. I hear you. As soon as I get out this hopper fix, I go into the kettle. Kettle folks always need a good mechanic. And it sure smells sweeter than Witterberg. Kettle is over in Saxon Wall. Just one trip through the warden. Maybe you could refresh my memory. Who or what is a warden? <laughs> well, I'm always happy to make a new friend, even when them look slow. Warden. Big spinning gateway out past the city ruins lets you travel far to the other place safely through the ether. The ether? My friend, you're more than a little slow today. Ether, radiation. Oh, you survive so long not knowing how to avoid the rainbow gas. You need the warden access device in order to get through. I can install a spear for you. For your price. How about a gold hood ornament? Uh, sorry, I don't have money, but uh, maybe we could work something out. What about the dog? Spear Agnite parts pretty rear own here. Hell no. No, no way. I would never trade her. Easy, dear friend. Jerry could never take a man's dog. But eh, there's something I need more than Agnite spears. At the buried satellite close to the warden, I want the Alexis computer core. I even add it to your map there. Bring me the core, and I'll upgrade your buffalo real nice with a warden access device. See you soon, friend. Alright, cool. It sounds pretty easy. How hard could it be <laughs> to get the thing they want? Probably harder than it sounds. It's a strange looking rig with cricket-like mechanical legs in place of wheels. The bulk of it looks to be an aged satellite or space station shimmers in the heat haze. Some sort of diagram here. Hmm. This seems part of a puzzle. Heat radiates from a pile of dented machine parts. They mentioned staying away from the rainbow gas or something like that, right? It sounds, well, obviously dangerous, but also sounds really pretty. Scanning for radio signals. A long slender invertebrate the size of a locomotive lies dead and festering in the sun, emitting a foul smell. 
I can imagine how bad that would smell, given that it's so hot and dry here. It's gotta be wafting everywhere. The stench of worm meat permeates the ramshackle butchery. are towering figures, their limbs embedded with robotic prosthetics. Wouldn't want to mess with these buggers. Oh, it's got subtitles for their language, but not translated to English because we don't understand it. I wonder if those symbols would match these at all. No. No, they don't. They're not mad at me being here. It's like a... It's built like a chicken, isn't it? Birds swoop around the looming stone monument. Music and the smell of roasting meat drift from the entrance of the hall. Ah, oh, we can go inside, I think. Those guards are heavily armed. Sheep! Small flock of sheep grazes on the scrubland grass. There's somebody in there, too. Uh, I don't think we can get in there ourselves, though. Dwellings are crude and simple, built for a rough and ready frontier living. So this thing is the worm, isn't it? It looks kind of like a worm. That's what they're gutting at the gut house? Is that what they eat for their food? Can you safely consume a huge rotting carcass? They're not human, so I'm not sure. I guess they don't even eat it themselves? It's probably for the... Livestock? I'm really not sure. Antennae mounted on tree stumps stretch upward like metallic branches. No signal from the antenna. Let's go there first. These vines smother everything in their reach. Sun beats down on the hard baked carcass of a gargantuan creature.
Keep up the pace. Thanks. I mean, it's not a compliment. Um, yes, Pooch, I will. Oh, fishing. The bridge creaks softly in the arid breeze. A torrent of water cascades from one of the oversized pipes. Fuck off. Go away. I just have some questions. Are you deaf? Ishmael says fuck off. Huh, okay. Well, first, they're talking about themselves in the third person. Second, are they human? Can you tell me where I am? So you can't take a hint, eh? Okay, fine. If you want to know where you are, you probably didn't come here on purpose, eh? You're in Wittenberg. Frontier town. Last resting place of the Umloki. The giant bastard worm of the desert. Hang on. How did you get all the way out here by accident? We came here from the Penrose. Pfft. Fine then. Don't tell me where you're from. But let me tell you. If I thought for a minute you were telling the truth, that would mean your mates were the priests of tribulation. And if you're with the priests, I'd have geen problem tossing you and your dog there into these sewer pipes. You verstaan? Okay, so don't tell anybody else that we came from the Penrose. Gotcha. <laughs> Pooch attack mode. God, what would that do? Well, what the heck? Let's see where this goes. I'm telling the truth, but we're not with the priests. I don't even know who the priests of tribulation are. Well, if you never dealt with the bastards, count yourself lucky. One of those gold faced poopals killed Red. My prawn. Best damn hunting bug this side of slag. Your prawn. Hunting bug. You had a hunting bug, buddy. Well, I'm sorry to hear about Red. Why did they kill you, uh, hunting bug? About three years ago, me and my prawn were out hunting for food for my people, the mongrels of slag. We were attacked by Umloki, the giant worm I'd only heard about back when I was a lighty. That thing took my leg, and I wanted it back. Red and I left the noxious base and went hunting, tracked it across the world. Traveling through the ether is a death sentence to most people, but the mongrel mechanics built these lung suits real tough. Red tracked Umloki here to Vesta. We got it to follow us to the edge of a mountain, and ran its head straight into a rock. When the priests heard I had killed something on their turf, they came for me. They tied me and Red up and left us for the vultures. Red broke free, chewed off three of his own legs to do it. I was too weak by then. Smart Bug went and found help. The mistress of Witterberg sent some of her soldiers. They took the dead worm as payment. Been eating it slow for months now. Red didn't make it though. He died before I got home. Lost too much fluid. Best damn partner I ever had. I know it's a giant bug, but damn, red sounds amazing. I'm so sorry. Also, the way they killed the giant worm sounds suspiciously like how they killed the worm in the movie Tremors. Now that you've killed the worm, what do you think of doing next? I've been taking small contracts. Killed a lion that ate some of ours. Tracked down some mystic animal for the Chisenyama, but I miss Red. So now, I'm taking a break. Now I'm fishing. Look after that drone there. Look after your partners. I will. Nothing's gonna happen to Pooch. Let's go inside, if I can find where that was. Oh, what is that creature? Is that a little pig? I think so. This 
looks like a makeshift still. A jumble of copper pipes extends from the tank, thrumming with pressure. You have the look of a man seeking truth. Have a seat and tell Bra Bones what ails you. My god, they they look sort of like ghouls from the Fallout universe, but not really. Quite a bit different. It looks like all their skin has been stripped off and also they're partly mechanical. I don't know about trying to find truth, but I am trying to find my brother. Ah, brothers, what a blessing they are, to be sure. If you have nothing in life but a loving brother, you are most rich. Last time I spoke to him, he said he was close to a buried satellite. Oh, um, Jarek the mechanic knows where a satellite sits, overtaken by nature, being slowly dragged beneath the ground. But there are two halves of that hole, just like brothers, yeah? <laughs> There's also a buried satellite to the north. My other half... My brother is at the kettle. He's serving grave. I fear I took from him what can never be returned. I'm sorry to hear that. Being a brother can be tough. That is true, Traveller. That is true indeed. Thank you for sharing these moments with me. If I may, let me leave you with a trinket that has brought me luck. A map of the world to guide you on your journey. <clears throat> now, if you don't mind, I must get back to my other paying customers. May the wanderer guide you, the warrior protect you, and the spirit of Inja follow you. There it is. Vesta. All oh, right, all the locations we were looking at before were just all within the one location, Vesta. This is an even bigger map. But I guess we probably can't travel to other places until we get into the Warden, right? Maybe? The jar is stocked with an assortment of unlabeled bottles and jars. Larger than life, the holograms flicker in and out of focus as they sway. Always gotta have strippers at a post-apocalyptic bar. Meat sizzles on a grill, filling the room with a smell of mutton. I don't... I don't wanna... I don't wanna... I want to talk to you. I need your help. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the room is spinning. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. Mama, is it you? Mama. You <laughs> ask too many questions. <laughs> but I haven't said a thing. Rock. It's, it's... It's... It's inside me. I can feel it. It's behind my eyes. Do you, do you want a party? My name... My name is... Egypt. I don't think I want to be anywhere near them. Something I find super interesting and cool is how everybody looks so different. I mean, completely different. Everybody is a different mismatch of of biological and mechanical parts. It's like everybody's constructed their own body from whatever scrap and, and junk they found around. It's really cool. Oh, Pooch is hanging out by the fire. You doing all right? Oh, it's already stifling in here. Yeah, actually, why is there a fireplace? What the hell? Firelight reflects on the surface of a misshapen skull.
wooden barrels rested in an unoccupied corner. There's a faint aroma of overripe fruit. It's even hotter up here. <laughs> It's hardly luxurious, but the warm, stuffy attic is a comfortable place to rest your bones. Is it? Doesn't sound like it's warm in here. It sounds like it's stifling. Make gold offering to get some credits. Oh, I have just the thing. How much money did we get? A credit has been added to your balance. Do you mean a credit like a number of credits or a credit is in one credit? Oh, literally one credit. Okay. Either that wasn't worth much or one credit is a lot. A battered armchair is slumped in the corner under a threadbare blanket. I just saw a scorpion go by. Who would want to sleep here amongst scorpions and rats and roaches? This musty mattress is as good a place as any to crash, better than a night out in the open. Is that a gold leaf? A woman dreams in the dim, hazy light. A young woman is stretched out on a sagging mattress, sleeping deeply. A fresh face with a virgin eyes falls upon me. You have strong arms, a strong back, and all your teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will make a fine addition. Have you come to join in my family? To be a concubine to the mistress of Witherberg? Hmm? Hold on. Um, what's a concubine again? Do I want to be a concubine? Define concubine. Google search. As far as I can tell, a concubine basically means a fuck toy. You don't have any real power. You're just kind of like a, a plaything for them. So do I want to be your concubine? No. Thank you for the offer, mistress, but I'm not here for that. No, a pity. To be in the harem of Mina of Witherberg. Witness of the tribulation and servant of the ascendancy is to be a blessed spirit. But if you're not here as a suitor, are you here for an offering of gold? I am sometimes forced to remind newcomers that any treasures they possess belong to us and to Darus. But we are not mongrel savages. We will gladly compensate you with a few credits for your trouble. And with those credits, we also offer wares to help you on your way. And right, the mistress of Witherberg, that's the person who uh, Red came to them to get help and the mistress sent out people to go save that person we talked to that was fishing. I'd love to look at your uh, wares, but first I need information. Normally, I would charge for information, but for a lovely, strong creature such as you, I cannot help myself. Ask what you will. Am I really a strong creature? Remember, we're a journalist. Not that that precludes you from being a bodybuilder or something, but I don't think we're particularly strong. Have you heard of something called an array? Even as a witness of the ascendancy, this is something I have not heard of. But I will keep my eyes and ears open just for you. What's a witness of the ascendancy? The witnesses provide gold and technology to the high priests of tribulation. In their infinite wisdom, the ascendancy bestowed upon us immortality. And all we had to give them in return was meat. If this is a path you choose to walk with us, I can have it arranged. Hmm? 
No thanks. I lock my meat where it is. <laughs> I'm sure I would like it just as much. But enough flirtation. Would you like to see my <laughs> ways? I would, yeah. First aid kit, heat shielding, electrical shielding. First, I guess, can I buy any of these things? Do I have the money? One credit. One credit. Yeah, one credit. Okay. Electrical shield. Oh, wait, no. No, shit, I was looking at my credits. Three credits for that. Three credits for that. One credit for this. Broken bones, collapsed lung. In this medical treatment kit, you will find everything you need need to heal up instantly. Mm, uh, I'm assuming this is important for a quest, because I don't think there's health for me. I guess I should buy it. It has a single injectable substance that promises to revive a patient for at least 48 hours. Revive a patient? This sounds like... Sounds like we're bringing somebody back from the dead. <laughs> also, there's only a single injectable in this huge duffel bag? Ah, oh, my sweet. Welcome back. Are you looking to trade? Hmm? Let's see what you've got. Okay, so it doesn't come back in the store or anything like that, so I think it is a quest thing. Otherwise, I figure you'd be able to buy multiples of it. I think it's time to take to the skies again, but I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I missed anything. No, that looks like it. Crashed lab, that's the thing we've been given coordinates to. That's where we need to get the part. 